What's up guys, Sophie Soaps here with a new custom video and today we're gonna be using something groundbreaking. Like this is the future of customs or customizing in general. If you guys remember when you were a kid and you used those temporary tattoos, like you literally slap it on and you put some water on the back and then once you peel the backing off the tattoo was there. Yeah, we're literally gonna be using that for a sneaker, I know. Take a second, just take a second to take it all in, like freaking amazing. It is called a Sneakal and it's available at talicobrand.com. You guys can check out some of their other products. They got some Supreme going on, they got some Bape going on, some Gucci, some Louis, you name it. And the best part about these is that whenever you're ready, you can take the Sneakal off and then replace it with another Sneakal. So no need to buy a new pair of shoes. You can literally just swap Sneakals whenever you want. So I'm sure you guys are really curious to see how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna take you through the whole application process of applying a sneak owl. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys. So first things first, let's open up our kit. We're going to see a set of directions as well as our sneak owls and templates. Keep in mind, our template is yellow paper and is labeled on the back. Our sneak owl is on white paper and is labeled on the back with a suggested area of placement. Our first step is to remove the film from the template vinyl backing. Once we've done that, we can place it over the area on the shoe that we'd like the sneak owl to be applied to. Grab a sharpie or any type of marker and trace around the outer edges of the area. Take your time doing this step as the more accurate you trace, the more accurate the sneak owl will come out. When done tracing, remove the template vinyl from the shoe. Now that we have our area traced out, go ahead and place it on the back of the sneak owl. Grab a pair of scissors and cut around the outer edges of your tracing. This will leave some room for any adjustments if necessary. Time to take off the backing. Using an X-Acto knife, lift the template vinyl or tracing off the back of the sneak owl. The paper backing of the sneak owl will come off with it as well, leaving a sort of fuzzy looking surface. We can then flip it over and remove the thin plastic film on the front of the sneak owl with an X-Acto knife. Once the film is removed, the face of the sneak owl should be sticky. Go ahead and place it face down on the area you previously traced around. Grab a towel, dunk it in some water, and pat over the sneak owl for about 30 to 40 seconds. The paper backing should start to slide off once the sneak owl is attached. Once attached, give it a couple more pats and run your finger over it one more time to make sure it's secure. Now that we have the swoosh done, let's move on to the toe box. We're gonna be using the square pieces this time to get a proper fit of the toe. Here's where it's going to get a little bit different. The first thing we need to do is place the template vinyl on the toe box starting from the bottom of the shoelace panel. Once we've done that, we can cut some of the excess off the side. Place the excess strip on the upper part of the toe box and cut the other side of the excess piece and place it on the other side of the upper toe box as well. Finally, cut the excess from the front and place it on the top part of the toe box. From this point on, we can complete the same regular steps that we did last time. So now that we have the procedure down, let's try out some other designs. 